Hey guys, it's me Dom, back with uh, what was supposed to be a tutorial video, but it got a little um, deep on me, and I'm going to explain all that as well. Um, I wanted to introduce my son to you guys today, so I wanted him, I let him wash my hair. Ooh, ooh, and he did a good job, okay? Hair is looking great. He washed it, took his time, massaged my scalp, which is really funny and awesome because that's not him <laughs> but he did it because he wanted me on my channel so i do have that footage for you it was recorded on my uh the front camera of my iphone so it's not like the top quality but it's still gonna work um i wanted to i got really okay let me explain this i got really excited because i i had um so irritating <clears throat> my makeup was already done and I had already did a hair tutorial video today, but I went to the beauty supply store and I found this Eco Styler leave-in conditioner. I've been Eco Style leave-in conditioner. I have been looking all over for this. I was really excited. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to wash my hair today and do the tutorial video today. But oh, I can have my son wash my hair and then we can just knock it all out today. Like, what? can we say? <clears throat> excuse me. Can we say multitask? Yes. So. I did that and that conversation with him whoo it uh it got deep we we talked about we talked about his his part in me having cancer and I think that's really important for other mothers going through cancer sometimes you're older and your kids are my age when you go through cancer but what if you're in your 20s and your kids are seven and one um I can't even keep it together. I think this is a really important video. So I'm going to show you guys the footage of him washing my hair and then we'll come back and respond to it as well as showing you how this Eco Styler leave-in Eco Style <laughs> I will show you how this Eco Style leave-in conditioner works. I have not tried it yet. We're gonna see how this goes. So <sighs> here goes the hair washing conversation. Oh my god. And you're gonna have to not get this makeup here because face is beat. Okay. So be very gentle. Because you're, now you're just gonna wet my hair now. Guys, he's never washed my hair before. What do I do? How do I? Oh my god. Off? Ooh. Okay. Alright. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Okay, now I turn it off? Nope, because the back is not wet. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to turn the water off. And you're going to get the peppermint soap. Yes, and put some in your hand, a nice amount. Oh, my hair looking good. Oh, oh I don't want to get it on the so, Siege, state your name for YouTube. CJ. CJ, okay. How old are you? Nine. And. About to be ten. Ooh, about to be ten when? July 10th. Okay. And. Let's see, what are we gonna talk about here? Recently, as you know, because my son subscribed to my channel, ain't that right? Yeah, but I don't watch it okay he doesn't watch it every day but he knows about my cancer video and um i want to so i'm going to tell you my mission cj and then you're going to help me with my mission so my mission is to help women that are going through stuff especially mothers oh my neck okay and we're also going to not talk about the fact that my underarms are not shaved um yeah he was six I was like he was seven going on eight actually guys okay go ahead and then um i was like watching her overnight and sometimes you would i think sometimes you would send us over to um mom's house so, mom is my mom yeah i, I, I call her mom for some i don't know why so more importantly when you were home what all were you doing i was like putting grace to sleep it was hard for me I think we slept in the same room. Yeah, we definitely slept in the same room. Yeah, we had a really small apartment at that time. Yeah. You can and turn the water back on because yeah. it's time to rinse this out. Okay. 
and it was um really hard because when it comes to sleep, Grace never wants to go to bed. Never. She doesn't, and at seven years old, you were having to put a one-year-old to bed. Did that make you angry? Yes. It made you angry? Yes. Why? I, it's no, it, I mean, were you mad that you had to help me? Oh, no, I wasn't. That's I what I mean. Okay, I know sometimes you were frustrated putting her to sleep, yes. but, you, but you were very gentle with her. Uh -huh. But how did it make you feel, you know, seeing me so sick? It felt weird. Why? It felt weird because, like, see, because you used to never get sick. Never got sick. No. I didn't. And when I did get sick, it was really bad. Yeah. And I just, it was, because you, sometimes, like, um, you would, like, tell me how bad it was. And what did I say? Some. It was like stuff that you could right like die and um. Well, there were things that you heard about people. Be careful, now. We don't want this on my makeup. That was the point. So you got to bring that shower head closer to my head, okay. and you can stand up still because you don't want to get your pants wet. Um, you did. There were people that told him that people that have cancer die, and he heard that just in the grapevine. So, if you can imagine that fear of me being his primary parent and hearing that I have something that. You know, could kill me. <coughs> that is hard for a kid. And that, um, and if I didn't have a parent, I wouldn't. I really wouldn't know who would guide me or who would like teach me, like how to wash hair. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing. And teach me, and ha and teach me how to like. Um, drive or something. How did you feel about me losing my hair? Honestly, I cared, but it wasn't like losing a life, so I didn't care. Wow, it's very, it's very intelligent, sir. Wow. Emotional. But <laughs> like, I don't want to say I didn't care. Like I. But you would have rather me lost my hair. Yeah. And not die. Because yeah. to not treat myself, that could have been deadly. Yeah. Do you feel... Pfft, got my fist. Um, do you feel that what you... Seeing me go through that and you having to be a little more helpful, do you feel that that made you stronger? Or do you feel like it didn't help? I feel like it made me stronger. And why is that? Oh my god. Sorry. It's okay. Just come closer with it. There you go. And then I feel like it made me stronger because like helping my mom with um like probably like the cold is okay. But like helping my mom with the serious illness. Infe yeah. It, like infection like that. Well it's not <laughs> it's not um it's not a infection, it's a disease. And you can say cancer, so helping your mom get through cancer. Yeah, like helping your mom get, th helping you get through it, just, it made me strong, it, I feel like it made me strong because, like, you made it through, right? Like, right. Oh, okay. And, yeah. go keep going. Okay. And you, like, made it through and got to live, and got to live through a disease like that. And what would you and, say to... Other kids whose moms are going through cancer, what would you say to them? But like, don't like make your mom mad because that's like. That's, so be easy on mama. Yeah, like don't like leave. Don't like just completely forget about her. Like don't like leave her alone when she wants to be alone. Right. Like, just give her some peace. And what would you say for the hard times when her... Because, you know, what happens when you're going through chemo? What happens? You are throwing up. What else? You lose the hair. Oh. What else? Um, you... Dang. I forgot. I have member surgeries. Yeah. So what would you tell a child that's about to see their mom go through this? What, what helped you keep going? Like, I know you just said... 
you just wanted to help me get through it. Mm -hmm. Because even though I went through all that stuff, I'm here. So what would you necessarily tell a kid that's about to go through it with their mom? What would you say? I would tell them to just just help their mom in any way that they want to. Like if they have like pills to take or medicine, um, like set like a little table up and then just He did set up a table. That's right. Keep yeah. going. Um, set like a little table up and and like reminder to like set a timer on her phone or something to um take the medicine and just make sure she's okay every once in a while and keep your little sister uh, sister brother out occupied oh, getting emotional I'm sorry <laughs> and yeah keep your um siblings occupied like don't make her mad or she, don't like let her have a good time because like it, it's hard. What do you do? What do you, what would you tell a kid to help their mother going through all the emotions of cancer? Like going through all the the crying, the getting mad, the I don't want to be around anybody. Like, what would you tell your your friend or another child to do? I would tell them to just just pray that their mom could be could be alive. Okay. But you need like more so more simple. So pray that she could be alive at the end, and what else? Um, Is there any words that they should say to their mom to help when she's sad, when she's losing her hair? What would you tell them to say? That I would, I would say, your hair or not, you're still my mom, and and if you and you're you're a strong woman for like going through all this pain. Getting surgery, losing losing your hair, but that doesn't mean you're still the same person inside. You mean it doesn't mean you're not the same person inside, right? Yeah, and um, <laughs> and it's really hard to like go through all of this, and still got to be a mama. Yeah, and pay out of like you're the strongest part. Of the of the house, yeah, yeah, strongest part. I would say you're the strongest part of my heart, and and I and help. I will help you as much as I can to um to go through all of this. Oh, wow. well, thank you so much for um. I think you're really gonna help other moms and kids with your words. You're really strong. You're really strong. Thank you. And uh, it wasn't fair, but we made it work. So. All right, guys. How was that? <laughs> I was not expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. But um, my message to. I'm so sorry. I'm so choked up. <laughs> my message to any um, mother going through this is that they are going to be okay. <laughs> As a matter of fact, they might be more than okay. They might actually be better. And I never thought that. The, my first thought when I found that I had cancer was that I was ruining my children by making them experience something in their childhood that was so traumatic. Um, that it would be one of those things that would ruin, them. not ruin them, but just make it like, wow, I had to grow. I had to be different. I had to do too much because of this. And guys, I'm here to say, I know cancer in the long run made me better, but I believe it made my son better too. He was always a good kid, you know, always a strong boy, always opinionated. But, you know, I, I was a, very much a single mom with him. So, he's he's been growing up with me this whole time. I, I had him when I was 19. And it's like, I never thought that, you know, seven years after I gave birth to him, 
we would fight a battle so so bad, so deep, so intense that it would rock our whole core as a as a unit. And then for me to have his sister, she was very young, um, that just really added to it. So I hope I hope that video helps somebody. I hope that footage really um, helps a mother. If you know a mom that's about to go through chemo or just about to go through surgery. I think you should show her. I think you should show her this because sometimes your kids aren't older. Sometimes your kids are young and they remember everything enough that it is life changing for them as well. And, and a lot of women that get breast cancer are, you know, in their 40s or in their 50s and their kids are older. They're teenagers or they're adults. And, but that's not everyone's story. So. I hope that me being transparent with you all, I try to be transparent, I try to be open, I try to be as honest as I can be, and I, I really hope that by me doing that, it, it helps you. My whole mission here is to help women going through this, and it's so emotional to know the ways that it affected my son, um, and I'm just so proud of him, and that's something that I'm happy that I'm alive to see. <laughs> I'm so proud of him. I'll be right back. But yeah, I am loving that definition. So I'll be back. I'm gonna work on some things and then I will um, stretch it some. Well, I'll let it dry. I'll stretch it with the blow dry method that I showed you in previous videos. And then I will show you all how it would look out the door. This turned out really, really great. And it was, this is all one product. So we love one product situations. So I would say try it out. I mean, you have nothing to lose spending $5.50 on a product. I mean, us naturals know we didn't spend some bank on this shit, okay? I know I have. I literally just invested in the Curls Blueberry system, and now I found something I like maybe just as much for $5.49. So, thank you, EcoStyle. We're going to give that a thumbs up. Uh, this has been a crazy, all-over-the-place video, and I really hope that you guys can grab a lot of knowledge from it. I've done a little bit of everything on here and I didn't even mean to. <laughs> but, um, yeah, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Please, if you know a woman who needs more support for shit, it can be cancer, it can be anything that's detrimental and she's a mother, I send her my way. I, my arms are open and my heart is open even wider. So, thank you guys for watching this. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Give me a thumbs up if you don't really like it but you felt it was knowledgeable. And give me a comment and let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this um, interview type things. If there's any other hot products out there, let me know because I'm willing to try it. And that's it for today. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.